Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be an accessory video for the MI Box 4K. Uh, so we will be installing uh, a Bluetooth uh, headset and a Bluetooth speaker on the TV and then we'll be alternating between them and then seeing how to use that. Uh, that's a common issue that a lot of people have that they are not able to switch between them. So we'll be looking at that. But let's start with how to actually set up a Bluetooth uh, sound device you can call it sound device listening device onto this so earphone speaker whatever so let's go ahead start with uh, the speaker first so first of all you have to go into the settings over there on top settings and then towards the bottom you have remotes and accessories so we'll go there remotes and accessories over here you'll have accessories so i have deleted all of the accessories so now i'm starting up fresh so i'm going to add accessories now i wanted to show you this now this is not in pairing mode. Okay, sound bar is in pairing mode. I should switch it off. Okay, anyway, let it be on. So it's that fast. Now I'll just show you. I'll put this on. And put this in pairing mode. There. Now it's gone on to pairing mode. And it's that fast. So it sees the device that fast. So that's one thing which I really like. I haven't seen any TV box work this fast. So that's there. Now I'm pairing it with it. So it will detect, it will communicate and then it will give you a message to pair. Yes, pair it with JBL Flip and you're done. So that's how easy it is to uh, pair it with a Bluetooth speaker. Now I want to pair it with a earphone. So put your device into pairing again. Actually I'll add accessory and then put this device into pairing. Just switched on into pairing mode and it saw it. So it's that fast. Now I'll go ahead, choose MI Super Bass Wireless Earphone. So all these things I'm actually testing with the MI and JBL and all this thing. Uh, I have other speakers also, I have used it with them. It's not only MI devices, you can install it with anything. And it's done. So now you see both the devices are connected at the same time. Okay, so now you've seen how to actually connect uh, more than one devices. So I've installed uh, a speaker and an earphone. Now, both of them showed connected, but you cannot play on both of them at the same time. And the problem right now with this device is, that's a big, that's one more big problem that I found, is that you cannot shift between those two devices. So you cannot go like, uh, okay, right now I want to use this device for the sound. Even though those all the devices are connected, I want to use only this one for the sound and then swap between them. That is not available. So what you have to do is you'll have to switch off one of the device. Only then the other one will work. So right now it is connected to nothing. So uh, it's out of connection. Let me just go back. Setting. Go into remotes and accessory. Now you see both of them are there but it doesn't say connected. So I'll go here and connect. Now, this is the problem. There is no connect button. You have unpair and you have change name. Now, this has gone out of connection. So this is one problem that uh, MI still has uh, with audio devices. Like if you connect a device to it, uh, you can use it. But after you uh, unpair it from the TV and you use it somewhere else, then the TV will not recognize it again. It has to automatically connect back. There's no option of uh, connecting from the TV to the device. So that's really strange. Ideally, that is a basic requirement. So this thing, I hope MI is watching and they will fix this because this is a big problem. I'll put it back onto pairing mode. And go into MI thing and then unpair it. Okay. And then add accessory. And it saw my MI super bass here, wireless earphone again. And then, see it's still blinking. I don't know whether you're able to see that blue light or not. Pair, and the blinking should stop now. Done. Now it's paired. So now I can use it. Okay, it says connected. Now I can use it. I can just play whatever. Uh, so I was using YouTube before. I'll go back to YouTube and so now the sound is over here. Now let's try uh, seeing if when I switch this on will it work or not. 
So I'll pause this, switch off the earphone from here. Okay, so it's not, now it's disconnected. Now if I play it, yes. everything yes. is going to come from the TV. I'll pause it. Now I'll switch this on because I have not paired this with any other device after I paired it with this. So I'll just switch it on. And it's connected. Gaming. Uh, this is this doesn't have those uh, five button. Uh, okay. So options. it's good with the pairing speed, but it has a major flaw, which is uh, if you use that earphone or speaker onto another device, this will not recognize that device again, the, that speaker or earphone again. You will have to repair it. So ideally, that is something which is basic that has to be taken care of. Uh, so this is a, a big flaw, but hopefully in the next updates and stuff they will fix this issue so that's basically it for this video in the next video we'll be seeing how to install a bluetooth keyboard and a bluetooth mouse after that we'll be doing the other wired ones so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye